The information and views expressed by our host or guests on the Unlock Potential podcast are their own, and not a substitute for professional medical or fitness advice. Always consult with qualified healthcare or fitness professionals before starting any new exercise program or making changes to your current routine. Yeah, the intent is what matters. Yeah. Like they measured bar speed. Yeah. And they measured intent. Yeah. And even if the bar speed was slower, if your intent is to move faster, that's what recruits more. Yeah. That's what we're looking for. I, I have an intent of being in super good shape too. Exactly. <laughs> that's so, what matters. So. <laughs> Hello and welcome to season two of Unlock Potential. I'm Brian Delaney. Our focus this season is fitness. I'll be joined by Dr. Corey Duvall, who's going to guide us through his protocol for getting into your best shape so we can live our best lives and serve others well. All right, welcome to another episode of Unlock Potential. Uh, We wanted to get back in the gym again. I'm back here uh, with, uh, uh, with Dr. Corey Duvall. Good to see you again, brother. Yeah, bro. As always. Yeah. Uh, he was a, he was going to get upset with me because our filming schedule was messing around with my workout schedule, and he was like, "I, I, I knew this was going to happen." And then, uh, <laughs> but he owned his own shit around that. He was like, "That's my that's my stuff, not True. yours." And it, uh-huh. and it, it worked out well. Uh, it turned out well. It turned out well. We made we made it work. Uh, but fired up. Uh, we're filming this after we've already done the workout because we don't tell our bodies what to do. We listen to our bodies. It it the, our bodies have the secrets it's going to tell us exactly what it needs as long as we're willing to listen uh so that you'll notice that we did our we both did our limber test uh then went into our workouts why don't you talk a little bit about your workout and some of your focuses some of the things that you were experiencing uh today so people can kind of catch some clues as they're uh, working out along or just uh joining us as we're uh, working out yeah what brian was alluding to uh at the start there is that we recommend strongly no more than three consecutive days and then a rest day. And today happened to fall on what would have been Brian's rest day. And so he was asking me how to change it so that he could actually work out today. And being somebody who only sets a rule when I think it's helpful and then I hold that line moving forward, I was feeling anger, A, that he would either restrict himself ahead of time so he could work out today or work out when he was supposed to take a break. And so I just shared with him that Mm -hmm. I don't recommend that he does that and that I'm gonna be angry unless he follows through (laughs) and just acts playfully. And so that's my own stuff to to take on. Uh, I use that in some previous exercise. (laughs) Today's particular workout, uh, I felt good and I took on the workout of the day, which has a 15 minute cap. And as I was moving through that first part, uh, we're getting some fence work done. And so the workers needed me to go answer a couple of questions. In the middle of that, the timer actually ran out. So while I wanted to go heavier, I held myself to that same boundary. Uh, Just let myself cap that and then moved on for the day. So there are rules. We try to follow those rules as clearly as we can. And outside of that, we just let our body and the universe guide us. Yeah. And those rules aren't arbitrary. They push us back toward what our body to to the best possible situation for us to listen and respond to what we're being told. Exactly. And this is one of the reasons you don't compare yourself to others, because I saw that I crushed Corey's uh, weight on the workout on the daily original workout today. (laughs) I was stoked. I was like, oh, Corey, I knew better. But (laughs) but you never good point. You never know what's going on because you're you may be comparing their what you see as their show to your behind the scenes or you may be comparing your show to their behind the scenes. You don't know and you could get trapped in this loop. And instead of doing all that I could do if I was comparing if I was really comparing myself to Corey, I might have just done more than him right? Which is never the goal yep. when it comes to that. That's not, it, it's not like focus on breathing, uh, uh, you know, look, uh, full of sticks uh, or uh, resist tension and then uh, do more than your buddy, right? That's not, yes. that's not one of the postures or the dosage recommendations. So, yeah. Um, so for me, I came in, I didn't get the sleep uh, that I intended to, that I wanted to last night. Uh, I was feeling a little bit sluggish. So guess what that means? That stamina. I need to work on my stamina, right? Oh yes, and and that also means that I'm going to have some good sleep recovery, right? So, exactly. So that's what it was. So because I came in tired, that means I need more stamina. So I did stamina work to start off. Uh, 
and it seems so intuitive to me now to do that but that that like i did not get the connection between that it's like it's like somebody saying i don't have stamina what do i need and it's like the answer is in the question right exactly. but uh, but sometimes when it's that clear, it can be a blind spot. So I did uh, some bar mounts to start off uh, the work. Uh, felt good about those. You'll notice, you may notice in the filming that I did lower the bar. The prescription was below the crown and mine was right below my crown when I was wearing flip-flops. Uh, Corey pointed that out uh, to me and I was feeling that with the limited number of reps I was able to do. So drop that down to a, a bit more of a reasonable range. It was somewhere like kind of right at the bridge of my nose in that temple area and uh, was able to pick up some more. Uh, came out of that um, because I was able to keep that posture, eyes up. Uh, came out of that with more energy, flipped over to the workout of the day. Uh, I didn't uh, have any distractions in mind, so I got to do the full of my fullest expression. One of the things that I noticed in that workout was it was feeling heavy. Weights were just feeling heavy today in general, even though I was feeling great. And you'll have days like that. Like I was just doing the best I could do today, even though weights were feeling heavy to me. And I was still feeling great, but they were. And that's so I came out of my that workout of the, the daily original workout, uh, came out of that, uh, went into some strength work, came out of that, went into some strength work. Um, and that's how I capped out my time at about 55 minutes. Right now, C Corey's encouraging me to move beyond that 30 minutes into the 50, into that 50, 60 minute mark so that I can really see that next level of growth um, as well as continue to release some of that energy that I've stored and uh, yeah, just dig down to the next level. So, or get up to the next level where, wherever you would say it. So yesterday ended up having a meeting. So it worked out for my schedule uh, serendipitously. Uh, still felt that, still felt that. Sometimes your coach knows what's better for you uh, and you, uh, you, uh, you don't listen, um, but that's okay. Just understand that what you've done is not something you wanna repeat because you're digging, I'm digging holes in the future again. And it's no mistake that I didn't work at, that I didn't work out yesterday on one of my days that I needed uh, that was supposed to be a workout day, and I had so much energy I had a hard time getting to sleep last night. Like, of course, those things connect, uh -huh. and it's not that far apart, right? Right. This is a closed system that gives us the indicators that we need, uh, that helps us to understand better and better. And the better we get at this, it just means the more present we are and the more aware we are, right? Yep. And those are things that are going to serve us in our whole life and that's what we're building is yeah. a whole life so yeah. one really nice thing that you brought up there mm -hmm. was that when you were tired as you first started you felt a lot of resistance to doing stamina work when mm -hmm. you were already tired yeah you didn't want to feel tired mm -hmm. you wanted to do something that took away that feeling yeah and in the short term, doing stamina work when we're tired may not actually take away that feeling. Yep. But doing what we need as opposed to what we want in the short term gives us what we want in the long term. Yeah, every time. Exactly. That's great. That's great. Yeah. I hope you're connecting these dots with us as you join us for these workouts. Um, we're going to get into our workout. We're going to we're going to lean in um, and I, and uh, yeah, jo feel free to join us. Start working through these movements. Don't just ju don't just be a spectator. Get in the game. Start to experiment with these movements without the uh, without the weight. Of course, do so at your own discretion. Um, and just join us because we, we, we're not looking for people on the sidelines. We're looking for players in the game and then people who can be team captains and coaches as we continue to grow and expand our organization, uh, as well as our impact. So yeah, join us in the workout. We'll be back with you in just a bit. All right. So this morning feeling, uh, feel tired mentally, but that doesn't really mean anything until we do the limber test. Did a limber test. Um, I'm I'm feeling uh, feeling a little bit. I'm feeling a bit more tired than I am good. So I'm going to start off with some stamina work. I'm going to see what my workout is. Um, when, once right now, I've got to jump between like three different apps, two different apps. I'm excited for the Stay Active Method app to come out. So it's simple. I start, press go, and get to go with my workout. So excited for that intuitive piece to be there. To line up with the intuitive piece of the limber test and getting those signals and uh deciding your workout in a responsive way rather than a predictive way so fire it up see what i have on deck 
All right, so first workout, you guys can see hanging bar mount below crown. So that just means I've got to get above the bar when the bar is just below the top of my head. So I'm going to do that for 10 minutes, see how many I can get, uh, focusing on resisting tension and pushing out the edges of my uh, comfort zone. Today's workout of the day. We're changing weight to find a tough set of 30 meters within 30 seconds of a yoke belly carry. So we're gonna carry the yoke apparatus against our belly. We're gonna carry at 30 meters. Hey brother, good to see you. And we're gonna change weight, looking for a tough set of 30 meters. making sure that I keep my focus on breathing the whole time, not holding my breath while I'm doing it, which is counterintuitive for me as I'm putting the effort in. And this is just, it's just building muscle for a bar mount, for a muscle up, building strength for that. Can you, how high can you pull yourself off the ground and up over and onto something? Just another functional movement pattern that we all need more of in our life either way. So that prepares me. It's definitely not simple. I should say, definitely not easy. Very simple. <laughs> I, right now I'm cruising toward like a total of like between 25 and 30 over yeah. the 10 minutes. Yeah. So it tells me that it's a little bit too high, right? Yeah, so but, what is the standard? Uh, it's just below crown. Below? Yeah. yeah, so you can go lower. Yeah, yeah, right now, right now I'm, I'm just, well, I'm, I, I could probably go. That both. crown's sitting pretty high, bud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Move the bar down so I could get rid of, uh, it was right at my crown and he said below crown. So move the bar down. Now I'm on pace for a few more. So I took a lot of time in the beginning. It was all good. But I was going a little bit past my comfort zone.
feeling good. So I'm gonna pivot next to the workout of the day. Corey's already started that. Uh, was on the border of great, but just feeling a little bit sluggish today. So uh, we oh, have to work on that uh, wad to build up the whole pyramid. And it looks like it's a it's a good push today. Looks like uh, rat carries. Uh, excited for this one. One of the things that he told us, he tells me, is once you start going up in weight, you wanna, as you're going up in weight, you don't wanna make uneven jumps. If you're going up, I went by up by 50 the first time, then I just went up by 30. Now this time, I'm gonna go up by another 20. As I increase the weight, I increase it less rather than bumping it up 15 pounds, bumping it up the next time 10 pounds then bumping up 20 pounds. It's a nice steady climb. That's where you want it to be and get those more full expressions of the work and the dosage that you need to be in. Well, it's about technique. I mean, I'm sure there's better techniques to lift it up. I use kind of that zercher form to do it. That's the most comfortable. And here's the thing is that there are times where it's gonna tear up your arms, kettlebells hit you in the forearm. There's times like that, but all that stuff normally happens. 
like in life anyway. And so it's gonna happen in the gym. You're moving around stuff. Machines are safe. But when I was looking to pick up uh, something from the ground or anything outside the gym, I never saw a Nautilus machine nearby where I could hook it up to a, a couple of pulleys and, uh, and a cable. And so it's all about being able to do it and being out of position while you're doing it sometimes at a weight that at a weight and in a way that won't inter, injure you but it will make you better and more balanced and that's where we move quickly and easily we move explosively against gravity we try to move softly when we're going with gravity because the way up is all about strength the way down is all about coordination and balance and so when you see, if you see us throwing our weights down or even how I drop that or coming off of the bar mount too quickly, I'm losing out on the whole benefit of the balance and coordination from the way down and going down in a strong position. Cause it's not just, it's about doing the entire movement in a way that's coordinated, uh, in a way that builds balance, in a way that builds strength and makes me more useful, more able to serve and more able to create outside of here. So. It didn't take me the whole 15 minutes, so that means I could have scaled up at a little bit of a, a little bit of a slower rate. And uh, yeah, now I'm just gonna enter my results and move on, go to the next uh, uh, limber test and see what it has for me. So I got 300 pounds on the belly carry. I felt like I wanted to go heavier, uh, but I got it cold outside. We're getting some fence work done. And so I got taken away from the exercise and my time capped out before I could go heavier there. Uh, checked in, I'm feeling tired uh, after that effort. And so I'm gonna take on some stamina work. minutes of 24 inch box mounts with a 20 pound medicine ball on the shoulder.
leg I was using, switching which shoulder I was holding it on, just based on what allowed me to keep going but feel comfortable. About seven or eight minutes in, started having to take some breaks and lay down a bit. I felt really congested in my sinuses before I started that. And the steady movement really helped kind of shift my posture and open those up and reduce the stuffiness that I was feeling. My breathing rate was getting up, which felt really good. But then I started feeling a little bit of burning on the inside of my lungs. And that has uh, been a sign for me that I need to adjust my posture because if I get breathing in one particular way, it irritates the inside of my lungs and then I start to get asthma symptoms. But if I slow and adjust my posture a little, I feel less of that burning and I feel air going into different areas of my lungs and that feels better. And it's just been something I've worked on over the last 10 years. I'm gonna do the limber test, see how I'm feeling after that and take on the next piece. So after that, feeling definitely more energized, uh, but aware of a lot more stiffness in my upper hip, lower back region. So I'm gonna stick with stamina while that stiffness is still the primary thing, but it's good to feel that shift of energy upward. So I was feeling tired after those mounts and adjusting my breathing a little, feel more energized, just a little stiff. Yeah, just finished my strength workout. It was a, uh, it was barbell hip, holding it right here, kneeling to standing, working on that explosive movement. For me, this is a thing. So I was comparing myself to other people. I, I might see 155 as light or heavy, but 155 pushed me and I can tell because I wasn't able to get 10 reps in my best was seven in 60 seconds. I can do three to four sets, but that third one I gave it, I gave it everything I had. So that's where that is. So I finished up with that and strength did what it meant to do. It pushed a bunch of energy out of my nervous system and uh, just getting ready to do the limber test again, find out what uh, my body has next, what my body needs next. Right now we're 10, 20, 30, we're 35 minutes into, uh, 35 minutes of work into our 30 to 60 minute uh, workout window, 30 to 60 minutes, 30 being minimum, 60 being max, um, all before noon, unless you do flexibility. And you can do that later later in the day, Whoa. but just following these protocols and do, doing everything based on what your body signals are when we listen to those signals, our body tells us the secrets, right? That more we listen, the more we get. That's huge uh, to understand. And that's something I haven't really, I've heard of, but I didn't really understand until now. And it's a, it's a big deal. So if we listen well, it'll speak a lot. It'll tell us a lot. Tell us all the secrets to feeling great, having the maximal energy, being fully present, not being distracted by aches and pains, injuries, understanding what tweaks are, difference between that, injuries, and uh, just not being ignorant, willfully ignorant. When we see an opportunity, like on that one, I felt like I could go good or great, but I had an opportunity to push great and I felt more great than I did good. So I pushed for the strength. I pushed toward the potential rather than the safety on that. And so, because I felt more of that, I follow those signals. I don't deny that because when we deny it, it goes from it, goes from it willfully, like kind of screaming the secrets to a little bit of a more muted voice, to a whisper, to where the vo to the connection isn't there. And it's like that with everything. Same as our appetite, same as our sex drive, same as, uh, same as our uh, intuition. It's just that, that thing that's inside all of us. Name it what you will. 
but it's just just that spirit that's inside of us when we listen it speaks to us more and louder when we don't when we ignore it it goes away so this is your opportunity to listen my opportunity to listen to ourselves every morning just uh doing strength after that last one i keep feeling more great than good mm -hmm. but i i'm still feeling parts of myself that are a little bit closer to good but i'm pushing toward great because it's over 50 percent all right it's like that 20 percent that's feeling yeah. a little bit held back so yeah um but it's just uh barbell ground to hip increasing speed increasing speed nice or increasing reps over the over the or no increasing speed for eight reps yeah uh got to do eight reps so in the beginning hold myself back focusing on slow really slow down touch softly yep and then explosive up that's what i saw that's a good yeah. job cool cool yeah it feels feels a lot faster than it is <laughs> on the way up <laughs> when i say explosively it's more like a uh what are those things that you throw on the ground this little snap things <laughs> the little uh the oh, little snappers yeah. it's more like one of those explosions like yeah <laughs> yeah like a little store popper. fireworks yeah yeah <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah the intent is what matters yeah like they measured bar speed yeah and they measured intent. Yeah. And even if the bar speed was slower, if your intent is to move faster, that's what recruits more. Yeah. That's what we're looking for. I, I have an intent of being in super good shape too. Exactly. <laughs> that's so, what matters. So, <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately, the body moves slower than the uh, intent, maybe. Exactly. <laughs> I've got my intent out ahead of me. <laughs> <laughs> I see the smoke on the horizon. Yes, yes, yes. I'm not yeah. there. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> my first set was eight reps uh 45 seconds that one was and i could set a goal for like 40 seconds but it would be a mistake um i just had to set the goal for less we always set the goal for less than 45 seconds not a particular number beneath um because then you're telling your body more what to do rather than having that holding back on that full expression and letting more and more of the expression of that capacity come through on every set. So that one was 41 seconds to do eight reps. I have a total of three to five sets with full restoration. So it's set number three. So now I'm gonna start to push. I'm gonna start to focus on like 90% accuracy and like, uh 100 speed on this one and then the accuracy will go down just like a little bit each each time but still full expression full range of motion was 
that set was 30 seconds to do it. Now I'm in set four. I'm gonna be between set four and set five. I'm gonna go five sets on this more than likely, unless I completely blow it out on this one. But I'll, I'll hold back just a little so I can go five sets because I went three sets on the earlier one rather than four. So it's an opportunity to push it, get my hips involved, get those moving, and then go to my last workout, my last deal, which I have a feeling is gonna be based on the energy I came in with. I had lower energy, so I did stamina. That gave me higher energy, turned that into workout of the day, which gave me higher energy and put me into a strength workout, put me into my first strength workout, which was the kneeling to standing with the barbell at the hip, which put me into another strength workout, which is, which is the standing barbell ground to hip. You'll notice how the energy is building and that's, and that's setting the pattern for the day. The energy is just gonna keep on building from here. I'm gonna have one more cup of coffee today. I'm not gonna, I, if I need a nap, I'll take a nap. Don't usually feel the need for one. When I'm ready to eat, I'm gonna eat. It's just like, get to be completely free from this constraints of like, oh, this is what time it is, so I must eat. Or this one I usually eat. It's like, let's just be in touch, be free with our appetite to make great choices by starting off the day making great choices and listening. Let's just keep listening. And when we keep listening, our body tells us exactly what we need. I didn't get as much sleep as I wanted to last night. Came in here, did the work. I'm gonna crush my energy for the rest of the day. It's gonna be great. You know, it, despite the sleep, I'm gonna go to make sure and take care of myself tonight, go to bed a little bit earlier, put myself back in alignment so that even if I'm out of my solar rhythm, I can get into, I can get back in it over the next couple of days. So after the seated one arm dumbbell ground to overhead, I got about 86 reps there. Uh, I feel really pretty peaceful, good energy, good loose freedom in my body. I'm gonna take on the next workout of the day. It's gonna be four rounds for time. I have a barbell on my shoulders and I'm going kneeling to standing. It'll be 115 pounds for 15 reps. I'll do one rope climb to the top, and then I've got 75 double unders. So four rounds of that, I'll just keep track of how long it takes me. All right, last set. Knock this out, move explosively. Again, gravity slowly with, but still move fast, move fast. Uh, just finished up with the workout and have about 55 minutes total of work in. Uh, each strength piece is, uh, is about 15. My wad was 15, so that was three. So it was 15 for my wad, 15 for my each strength piece, which there was two of them, that's 45 plus 10 for my original stamina workout. So a total of 55 minutes. If I was gonna do any more work today, push me beyond 60, I'd only do flexibility. I'm not trying to create deficits in my work or create unnecessary damage or stress hormone that can't be washed out or, uh, or repaired in a big way um, overnight. So since 
today is my first of my three days. So I feel the best today. I could probably go on for another half an hour, but how would that affect two days from now? How would that affect my uh, quality of my workout tomorrow? We only do what we need to do for that day, right? We'll let tomorrow uh, call, call for what it needs to call for and we'll be here to handle it. So Corey and I will close up talking about our workouts and uh, yeah, thanks for joining us. Remember to like and subscribe. We hope this content's super helpful. Uh, there, we know we're always gonna get comments about uh, about the different opinions on how things work. We're, we're not going with opinions because we're not inventing this. We're, we're discovering it. We've discovered that, Corey has discovered that. We've tested it out, been able to have repeated results um, over, over all kinds of different people and uh, great results, the kind of results where if you look around, you won't, you won't see knee braces, you won't see rock tape, you won't see heart rate monitors. You'll see only a few folks who have headphones in, and that's that's the that's the fruit. You want to judge something? Judge it by the fruit of what we do, not not a single like. There's all ages in here of people, all you know, all kinds of different uh, different dynamics, and that's because of the power of this method, helping people work through various uh, stages of aging, of uh, vitality, and living. Um, uh, through injuries that they've had uh, in the past, in, the, uh, in recent times, they're working through all of it. They're doing it in here and getting their body back in line by listening to it and responding to it in an appropriate way. So I can't thank Corey enough for introducing this to me. Hopefully this has been a great uh, kind of second one for us. We're gonna be putting out one of these a month, basically uh, just giving you an idea of what these workouts look like so you can follow along and, uh, and listen and respond to what your body's telling you. Uh, cause that's, that's way more important than anything we have to say. So if you're tired of feeling low on energy and settling for the scraps, it's time for your personal revolution. We are helping people go from the person that they have been to the person they were truly meant to be and helping people get to the next level in their life, their business and their relationships. Follow us. All right. So. I was ready to start that daily original workout. I uh, ended up doing a lot of coaching and uh, the intro and outro uh, for this particular video. And now I'm feeling a little stiff and a little tired from a lot of the standing around. So I'm going to take on some stamina work and uh, use that as my next piece to get going. feeling less stiff, uh, still some fatigue. So I'm gonna take on more stamina work. I got a little more than 50 repetitions on that one arm dumbbell shoulder 
sitting to standing. I'm moving on to a 40 inch box mount. So for box mounts, we crawl, step, or jump on our way up and on our way back down. And so any combination of those can help us achieve those repetitions, ultimately progressing in both weight that we can get up on top of the box, as well as height that we can get ourselves on top of it. I got 60 of those. That finishes up my workout for the day. When I was young in high school, I did a lot of platform jumping like this, training for basketball, doing a lot of plyometrics. So taking on exercise like this feels kind of fun and playful. I also used to carry a lot of tension anger, self-doubt, frustration when I was exercising back then. And so as I'm going through these repetitions, because it's stamina work, I have to make sure that I keep myself a little restrained. I can feel the desire to like really start pushing reps, get my breathing rate super high, get the burning super high. And there was a phase in my late 20s, early 30s, where I got very, very skilled at short height box jumps as part, of, as part of CrossFit workouts. And that would majorly impact my breathing. And I would have to take a lot of asthma medication before the workout to put up a good performance after the workout just to get my breath back. And I noticed as I started reducing my medication and checking in while I was going through box jumping style exercise that I would hold my breath, that I would just create this tension in order to get a really explosive jump rebounding off of the bottom over and over. And that tension at a high dosage created a lot of tissue damage, created a lot of back pressure on the blood flow through my heart and lungs and uh, increased my asthma symptoms moving me towards walking pneumonia and other uh, diseases. And so it's interesting to now be in my 40s, still taking on this exercise with a little more restraint and feeling some of those old patterns start to come up and knock on my psyche a little bit. When I finish the exercise, I can feel fatigue in my rib cage, the muscles that hold my airways open 
more so than any other parts of my body. And it's because I used to exhale and hold that breath. Now I'm working to keep that airway open. And those are the muscles that really tire out for me right now. So this exercise is fun. It's got a lot of history for me and it feels good to finish my day on that. Check out the official Unlock Potential store where inspiration meets style. Explore our exclusive collection of gear inspired by the transformational messages straight from our Unlock Potential podcast. From trendy apparel that embraces the power of positivity to accessories that fuel your motivation. We've got something for every go-getter. Spread the messages of empowerment, energy, and motivation that you get from the Unlock Potential podcast by grabbing your gear today. All right, we just finished up our workout. Uh, we just finished up our workout a little bit ago. Um, you heard us go through our workout. We don't need to necessarily go through that again. You followed along with us. You could see how, uh, what Corey's body was telling him when he was doing the limber test. And not just the body, like what Corey's being was telling him is almost more accurate, right? Yeah. Because that's what the limber test opens up, not just the body, but just the full experience. What is your experience of right now are you sluggish? Are you tired? Are you stiff? Are you sore? Are you angry? Are you good? Are you upset? Like all of those things, uh -huh. it's your being. It's not just like, oh, my knee, I feel something in my knee, right? Yep. It's, it's not the knee, it's the whole being. So um, you can see how that pushed us down different paths as well as the fact that Corey owns a gym and he's got other things to do uh, as well during this whole process. And you'll see him coaching throughout. You'll see us connecting as a community throughout. Uh, just a ton of great people in the gym, a ton, ton of variety of ages, backgrounds, uh, uh, what they do now uh, for work, careers, whether they're retired, uh, family structures, for people from all kinds of different backgrounds, different injury profiles in the past, uh, all coming here uh, to get to get fit, right? To get exactly. fit and to grow. And uh, we just got to be a part of it. And we hope you got to be, uh, got to be a part of it too. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, join us on the Patreon, but uh, for, uh, you know, Corey, I want to hear from you. What was your uh, what was your experience with your workout today? Yeah, uh, I love what I do for work. Part of it is coaching people when they are in a particular place in that moment and need some redirection or some guidance. And so I do my best to follow along and get my own exercise in for the day and still keep my awareness open for when people need some redirection or some guidance. There are still times where I am going through my own exercise and feel different things come up like frustration or irritation that people aren't guiding themselves. And that's not a part of who I want to be. I'm just aware that those thoughts are there. And what I am actually doing is exercising myself so I can be more present for them. And probably when I was younger and earlier in my career, that frustration and irritation came outward at other people at times. Now I've been so far in it, I can hear those little voices. I calm them down and other clients say to me, how do you do your workout and never get irritated when people are coming up to you? It's just a repeated practice of checking in on my body, feeling those things at a more subtle level instead of ignoring them until they get louder and louder. Mm. Uh, loved going through the workout today with you, Brian. Loved yeah. going through the workout uh, with everybody who's here. Hopefully you're following along at home. Mm -hmm. Very soon, we're gonna have the Stay Active Method app so that you'll be able to check in and get that same level of guidance, what your body needs, when your body needs it, and be able to track your progress over time. Yeah, absolutely. And just to your point, as far as self-guidance, one of the reasons that more people aren't able to guide themselves is because they don't have the right tools in their hands to guide themselves. Exactly. And uh, that's all part of what we're building and developing with the Stay Active app. Uh, right now, I know you're working probably on it the four or five days a week. I'm working on that app four or five days a week in addition to the other businesses and jobs that, yeah. uh, jobs, businesses, all the stuff that we, uh, we collectively do. But we're doing that because we realize that uh, that this issue of being ill-equipped can stop right now. Exactly. It, it can be done. And, and just because we haven't had the tools to do this the right way before doesn't mean we can't have the tools. Exactly. Right? And so now we're just arriving with high intent, high clarity, getting uh, getting the things that Corey has developed 
both in practice and in awareness through data, uh, through individual research. We're putting that all onto the app so that you can have the most optimal experience. The other deal is if you're the coach, right? You probably don't have the tools to give your people. If you're a, if you're a, if you're a healthcare professional, you may not have the tools to give people that make it simple for them to be self-guided through that workout. We're going to provide that for you through the Stay Active app, so that you can provide that as a service to your clients through your company. We're going to drop that right in your hands, so that you're not spending time programming, you're not spending time in the process, you're spending time with the people, focused on the problems that they have and the solutions that you get to bring in your absolute strength zone paired with the technology that we're integrating uh, where we're integrating the stay active method and there's so much more to come as you can as we continue to grow and develop what unlock potential is because as much as I want to say unlock potential is this company it's not it's the expression of a full community of people with a similar intent and shared values and that's what we're finding here that's what's brought Corey and I together that's what brought, has brought everybody who comes to this gym uh, together and that's what brought us here with you. So if you're interested in getting to know more, make sure to direct message us, message us uh, uh, privately on Instagram. Uh, make sure to follow the Stay Active Method. Make sure to follow Unlock Potential. Make sure to continue to join and follow along with everything that we're doing, whether it's through uh, here at the gym, through the Stay Active Method, through the Delaney Agency, through Delaney Ridge, um, through um, through uh, the greater Unlock Potential universe. We have some great interviews coming up that I'm so excited, some new people to introduce you to, as well as just the continued journey that we're on, man. And it's been it's been great so far, and we're just scratching the surface of the surface, the surface yeah, of the surface. Excited to be doing this with you. Same, Brian. Yeah, thank you. See you thank on you. Too. Yeah, take care. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Unlock Potential. For exclusive content, make sure to subscribe to our Patreon. Follow us across all socials at The Brian Delaney and visit our website at thebriandelaney.com to shop our gear and see what's coming up next.